Hello. Ah, happy. What is today? Today is Thursday. Oh, it's payday. My favorite day of the week. But uh, we are back for day four of going through the workbook, which means we are on pages seven and eight. <laughs> so I guess we're going to get started because I'm not sure if anybody's going to join me. I'm going to try not to speak so fast. Try not to get nervous. I'm pretending I don't see that little live button and just do this. So we are going to talk about, still looking at my computer, still don't have it printed out, but anyways. Um, so talking about how people actually do want to help you. Think about it this way. When you really care about somebody, a sister, your mother, your husband, your kids, wouldn't you want to do anything to make their life easier? If you knew that they were overstressed and overwhelmed, wouldn't you want to help them any way that you could? because you care about them and you want them to be happy. Those people probably feel the same way about you. So they want to help you, but if you don't ask, they're not gonna know that you need help. Especially if you try to make it look like you have it all put together, they're not gonna know that you need that help. So just don't think of it as being a burden to somebody. Think of it as these people really care about me and they wanna see me happy and getting their help will make me happier. So in turn, they'll be happier because they'll see me happier. <laughs> Just try to think of it that way. So the question was, how do you feel when people ask you for help? Do you feel valued? Which I know I do. Um, I feel honored that they want my help and that they thought of me and thought that I could do something to help them. I mean, it makes me feel good. And when I do get to help them and I just feel great, it really is a good self-esteem booster and... Um, kind of confidence booster too, knowing that you helped somebody and that it's just a great feeling. And it's great to give somebody else that feeling too. You're going to feel good giving somebody else that feeling, knowing that they helped you. So, you know, the other person's probably going to feel the same way you feel when you get asked for help. Now, there are those times we get asked for help by people who aren't necessarily in that group and it does feel like a burden. Um, so try to stick with the people that you know truly care about you first. If you're starting small, asking for help, try to care, try to focus on those people who really care for you. Because, yeah, sometimes it is a burden. Sometimes we don't want to do the things they ask us to do. Um, those you have to take situation by situation. If you don't have the time um, or anything, you can at, tell them that. Um, but this... <laughs> I'm getting off topic. This workbook is about asking for help. So um, try to stick with the people closest to you so that you don't feel like that burden because these people truly want to see you happy so you won't feel like a burden. Um, so we said to give people a chance to make them feel that way. Um, and it helps strengthen relationships between people. When you help somebody out, your relationship gets stronger and you, because you're getting more vul vulnerable. <laughs> I can't really say that word, but vulnerable bull. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say that word, but you know what I mean. You get, you get to know each other better and get to really connect better. And you're going to strengthen that relationship with that person. And we talked about how the people who care about you want to see you happy. So the next page, I guess I am rambling a little too much. If I'm going fast, please tell me. This is my first time doing this at all. And I would really love your feedback if you're watching these um, videos. If I'm going too fast, if I'm not making any sense, please. I Constructive criticism is great and will help me do better next time because I am planning on doing another one next month. Not on the same topic. I have a different topic. But So the next page is how to actually ask for help, which is the whole point of this workbook. <laughs> so let's get down to the steps and how we actually get the words out of our mouth to ask for help. So first, having a plan. It's very important. I'm a planner. I like to rehearse what I'm going to say first. So be specific about what you need help with. Maybe have a few different options that um, they could help you with, but know specifically what you need help with. Say, I need help cleaning my house, keeping it clean. I need help um, getting the night to myself every month. You know, just what you need help with. Be very specific and know exactly what you're going to talk to them about. Um, have ideas, which is what it is saying, to have different options of what they could do to help. Say, oh, if you could 
take my clothes to the laundromat, that would be a huge help if, um, what's my other thing? I said cleaning the house. <laughs> uh, oh, if you could babysit my kids for a night and maybe I'll babysit your kids another night. Um, so we can get that quiet time or a date night with my husband. Um, maybe if you could just come in and vacuum for me once a week, that would help so much. Just have different ideas because they might not t like the first one or want to really, some people hate vacuuming. And if that's the only um, option you give them, they might not <laughs> want to do it. So give them a few options or have them come up with some. Say, say what do you think you could do to help me? Um, speak calmly. <laughs> Which is kind of funny that I put this in here because I'm rambling on these and I'm not speaking very calmly. And that's my whole point because when you are overwhelmed and a little, you you ramble. And if you just spew a bunch of things at them, they're going to get overwhelmed and they're going to be like, whoa, 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 I don't even know if I can help her because she's just going off the wall and throwing tons of different things at me and not um, really speaking calmly and clearly about what she needs, which is what I'm hoping I'm doing in these videos. <laughs> should take my own advice. And then, oh, I didn't mention this, but the last one was maybe trade services. Um, if you don't want to like ask for help, say, hey, if you babysit my kids Saturday night, I'll take your kids the next Saturday night. Hey, if you could vacuum my rugs, I will cook dinner for you once a week. Or, you know, just think of something you could trade with them because then you don't really feel like you're um, you're more helping each other out instead of just asking for help straight out. So try to get all your thoughts together before you ask the person and just speak calmly and slowly, maybe have them come up with ideas. So it's a not a one-way conversation and more of a two-way conversation. And these are relatively short videos. They have. <laughs> but that is those two pages where they... Seven and eight. Oh. So tomorrow is the last live. Um, it will be at 9 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. So um, it's kind of late for me. I'm going to be drinking some coffee to stay up. But um, if, um, yeah, join me then. We'll finish the workbook up. And then I have a special thing I will be talking about Saturday morning. It's at 8.30 Eastern time. I know it's super early. But, um. We have to be somewhere for Boy Scouts by 10 o'clock. And then he has a birthday party right after the Boy Scout event. So I really had no time to fit it in anywhere else. So I don't expect people to join me that early. I know it's really early, but um, it will stay in the group as all these videos do. So please, constructive criticism, anything you're learning, comments, questions, anything. Um, I would love to hear it. Please let me know. And... Thank you so much for being a part of this group. If you'd like to see anything in the group, not just related to the learning to ask for help, but relating to motherhood, perfection, um, just trying to be real and being your true self and um, enjoying life more, just anything you would like to see, let me know. I would love some um, feedback and to connect with you more. So have a great night.